Welcome to the College of American Pathologists Direct Transmission eLearning Module. Getting connected to the CAP. This module is intended for laboratories planning to use Data Innovations Instrument Manager to transmit proficiency testing results directly to the CAP. The module will demonstrate how to configure the CAP's proficiency testing driver in Data Innovations Instrument Manager and ensure connectivity to the CAP's direct transmission service for the first time. There are a few basic steps you must complete before you can connect the Instrument Manager to the CAP. These steps are explained in detail in the User Guide, but let's review them quickly here. Enroll in Direct Transmission using Data Innovations Instrument Manager using the form available on the CAP website. This form requires both your laboratory's primary seven-digit CAP number and your Data Innovations, or DI, license number. These numbers can be found at the bottom of any Instrument Manager screen or Help About screen. Call the CAP Customer Contact Center at 800-323-4040 or 847-832-7000, Option 1, to complete your enrollment. After processing your enrollment, the CAP will email you a username, password, and user guide you will use to configure the CAP driver. Once you have entered these values into the CAP Proficiency Testing Configuration screen, you do not have to re-enter them. Next, download and install the CAP Proficiency Testing Driver from the Driver Downloads page on the Data Innovations website. If you need assistance loading the CAP Proficiency Testing Driver, contact DI Technical Support at 802-658-1955. Make sure that your firewall settings are configured appropriately to allow for both outbound and inbound transmissions. The CAP's direct transmission web service will be available on port 443. Now you're ready to set up the DI Instrument Manager. Start your Instrument Manager if it is not already running. Assume that you have already loaded the CAP Proficiency Testing Driver. The first step is to create a configuration using the CAP driver. To do this, open the Configuration menu and select Configuration Editor. In the Configuration Editor screen, click the Add button. In the Add Configuration dialog, type a name and description for the configuration. For example, you might enter CAP PT Driver for the name and CAP PT Result Uploader for the description. Next, select CAP Proficiency Testing from the Driver Type dropdown. Click the Close button and click Yes to save your changes. A configuration for the CAP driver has been added. Now, you must configure the driver properties. Select the appropriate configuration name in the list and click the Properties button. The Configuration Properties dialog opens. Click the Driver Properties button. The CAP Proficiency Testing Configuration dialog opens. Enter the username and password provided to your laboratory by the CAP. If possible, it's a best practice to copy and paste these items from your email rather than typing them manually. Next, enter the contact information for the person in your laboratory who will be responsible for managing the direct transmission solution. This includes the name, email address, and telephone number. Transmission error preferences default to resending messages three times every 10 seconds. You can change them later if you prefer a different setting. Kit and Specimen Number Contents menus will have a default value of None when you first set up the program. The CAP's User Guide recommends using Patient First Name and Patient Last Name respectively.
Enter the default CAP number. This is your laboratory's primary seven-digit CAP number. To test the connection, click the Test Connection button. If the connection is established, you will see an OK message indicating that the instrument manager has been successfully configured to communicate to the CAP. If the connection fails, you will receive an error message, in which case you would verify that port 443 has been opened in your firewall and that your username, password, and CAP number were entered correctly. If you still have problems, call the CAP at 800-323-4040 or 847-832-7000, option 1 for assistance. In this example, the connection is good, so click OK. Click the Close button to close the configuration dialog, and click Yes to save your changes. Close the Properties dialog, and close the Configuration Editor. Next, you must add a connection assignment for the configuration you just created. This is required to set up the connection. Open the Configuration menu and select Connection Assignment. The Connection Assignment window opens. Click the Add button. In the Connection Properties window, enter a connection name. For example, you might enter the name as CAP Connection. Open the Configuration Name menu and select the configuration you created using the Configuration Editor CAP PT driver. Because the driver is an outbound unidirectional driver, it doesn't ever send data to other connections, so you don't have to change the destination line settings. Leave the default purge setting of three days. Null is the default device selection. The only other setting you must change is to check the checkbox for Include in Specimen Management under Advanced Options. If necessary, you could also choose to update specimen management on status messages or overwrite patient data. Once you have made your selections in the Connection Properties window, click the Close button. Click Yes to save your changes. And close the Connection Assignment window. Your connection assignment has been created, but before you can use the connection, you must start it. Open the System menu. Select Status. In the Status Display window, the CAP connection is currently off. Select the CAP connection and click the Start Selected Connections button. The connection status changes from off to on. Now you can close the Status Display window. That's it! You have successfully configured Data Innovations Instrument Manager for direct transmission and are ready to map test codes. This process is demonstrated in the e-learning module, Mapping Your Proficiency Testing Menu to the CAP Codes. This concludes the e-learning module, Getting Connected to the CAP. For additional information about using direct transmission to report your PT results, consult the User Guide.